in the conference. These guys can hammer it around a little bit. That's a great play by Matt McCormick down at first. Stab by Matt McCormick for the first down of the game. He didn't throw the pitch on, on three of them. Line drive up the middle. Matt Dupre is on first. Dupre, a pretty good job yesterday to get the game going. Andrew Walker with a line drive down the left field line. That'll send Dupre around first to third. Into second, sliding goes Andrew Walker. Now, housing her business for an RBI here for Xavier. Going to get this one deep enough. Well deep enough. It's off the glove in center field. Walker couldn't handle it. Stevenson will come home safely. Jack Hausinger is at second base for the Musketeers, and they've got a 1-0 lead. That's exactly what the Musketeers were looking for there to get things going, and the error by Zaid Walker. Georgetown out of the Big East Championship race would also lock Xavier into the two spot. So that's something to keep an eye on. Here's Dupre waiting, and he hits this ball a long way to left. Backing up on it is Lopez. I don't know if he can find it. Now it's over the wall. Walker and Lopez were backing up, looking into the sky, and it just kept carrying. Dupre hits his second home run in as many days. It's 3 nothing, Xavier. What an inning for the Musketeers. And yeah, that Dupre had a parachute on that ball. That thing was up in the air for quite some time and just kept drifting back toward the wall. It looked like Walker had a nice beat on it. Good read. And then it leaked over. Check swing there, they will call it a strikeout. Capri applies the tag and Dieters rips his ball down the line and we get down for a hit. And Teddy Dieters reaches. Matt Capri looks at the 2-2, sends this ball out into left center field. Tracking it out there is Walker. He'll make that play at the warning track, but tagging and coming home is Teddy Dieters. And Matt Dupre drives in the fourth run of the game for the Musketeers. Home run came back and he got three straight outs. He'll try to do it again here. Good breaking pitch at 75. Gets high swinging and one down here. Georgetown will have a lead. Off speed pitch, he got it on the inside portion of the plate. Ficka had started the swing then held back and Hoskins rips an 88 mile an hour ball in there for strike three. And here comes Grant Stevenson. He's reached twice, hit by a pitch in the fourth and singled. This ball ricochets off Meade. It's gonna trickle into the infield. No chance there for a Zay to make a play. And Stevenson reaches for the third time today. Re-rack the three, two. Ball stung out into center field. Will it get down? It will. Coming around to score from second base is Grant Stevenson and Matt Dupre delivers his second RBI of the day, making his third. The 3 2. Swing and a miss. Kelly with his first strikeout, fifth of the day for the Musketeers. Yeah. In the early spring. The 3 2. Cold strike three. Two down, back to back strikeouts for Jonathan Kelly. Here's Owen Carpolotti and a hard hit ball down to first and it's snagged by Matt McCormick. Are you kidding me? What a play by Matt McCormick on his senior day. Well, he has robbed Owen Carpolotti twice with great plays. Once in the first inning, for the first out of the ball game and now this one down the line. Matt McCormick extends backhander. Musketeers save a run. Here we go. Ground ball left side, that's through into left field. The tying run is aboard for the Musketeers. Another solid shot by Teddy Dieters, his second single of the ball game. And two balls, two strikes. The pitch, swing and a miss. Lohr gets the strikeout his first of the afternoon. Fans in attendance, the 2-2, two -two. swing and a miss. And a pitch in the dirt, first base is occupied. Two down. The 1-2. Swing and a miss, strike three. Lohr, after allowing the walk and a hit by pitch, fights back for three strikeouts in the inning. And we're gonna head to the bottom. Twice in game one of this series. The 2-2, two -two. line to second, and it gets past the diving second baseman, Michael Eze, right over his glove, and Xavier's alive. 
out of the equation for Cushing. Good count to do it on. And Walker stays put. Cushing grounds the ball to the left side. It gets through in the left field. Walker plants and stays at second. And it stays alive for the Musketeers.